Welcome back to I Know Football. I have the review of the UA highlights, the breast cancer awareness version in uh, true pink for you guys. And uh, so just going to give you some details about what I thought about these cleats, um, compare them a little bit to uh, some other Nike cleats. Um, but I think you guys will like this one. So uh, uh, first thing first is these are true pink. They're for breast cancer awareness. And something that I was really hoping that uh, they would do is donate to uh, some charity. So they don't advertise it on their website or when you're ordering. Uh, but when you do order these and you open the box, uh, it just it does say power in pink. And uh, you can't read it, but it says celebrates those who use sports, fitness, and an active lifestyle in the fight against breast cancer. A portion of all proceeds goes directly to National Breast Cancer Charities and Medical Center. So, and then you can join the fight uh, on their website, but it doesn't tell you which charities or not, but I'm just happy that, uh, you know, they are donating while they capitalize on uh, the craze that is pink in October. Uh, so getting into the actual cleats, uh, first I'll tell you a little bit about the sizing. Um, so these are true to size, unlike the talons that I think if you've seen that review, uh, the talons you do have to order a half size smaller. Uh, these are actually true to size. Um, so I wear a 12, I got a 12, um, and they fit nicely. Something that's different is uh, compared to the carbons is the toe box. So the Nike Vapor Carbons actually have what they call zero space technology. So when you put it in, it's a super tight fit. Your foot doesn't slide around. Uh, this one I was uh, double socked and I did actually tape up anyway. And um, it, after I taped up and I wrapped it uh, or I tied the shoes, they didn't feel loose at all. But um, they could add a little bit of padding in the toe. I would have liked to see that. Uh, the cushioning system is good. It's really supportive. I don't think it's as responsive as the talons uh, or the carbons, but the micro G they have in it, um, you know, is pretty good. Um, so I did like that aspect of it. Um, some of the other parts about it are just uh, the lacing system. So if you look at the lacing, um, the lacing isn't isn't bad. It just takes a long time uh, because these are high cleats. Um, and then once you have them tied up, so these ones here are with it tied. Um, they, they're super long. So I had to tuck them in. Otherwise, you'd be running around. These would be flying around like this. So I would tuck them into, into the laces. Um, that took a long time. So it just took like an extra long time to, um, you know, to lace these bad boys up. Um, and that's expected as high as they go. Uh, they're not easy to slip on, slip off. So you do have to unlace it pretty, pretty much. I mean, look how loose these are, you know, to get my foot in. And then once you get in, you have to tape it up. So I did like the tongue. The tongue is padded. It's not thick padding by any means, but it's enough um, to save you from getting hurt when you're cleated. Um, you know, if you're cleated, if you've ever felt that on your shin, you know how much it hurts. So um, it is neon green, kind of that bolt green that a lot of uh, companies, including Nike and Adidas, are using. Um, but other than that, it was really, it was really soft. It wasn't as springy as I had hoped, um, but but it, it did feel good. Uh, the traction at the bottom, so I use these on grass, and um, the, the traction wasn't as good as some of the other cleats, and I think the main difference is, if you look at the bottom of these, and compare them to something like the carbons, you can see that the carbons have all the, like you look at the front, you've got two cleats here um, for that, that big toe grab when you change in direction. And this one has uh, just a, a very small one, so um, I think that's the difference. They each do have the same amount of studs, um, you know, the bigger studs. These don't have the sidewall shuffle cleats. The ones right here, I think Nike patented that, so these don't have it. I don't know if that was the reason why I was slipping a little bit, but I've never slipped in my carbons as much as I was this day. So I think on turf, they were good. On grass, I didn't really, didn't really like them so much. The other thing is, as you can see, uh, the bottom of it turns green. Um, so I <laughs> use them in grass, and uh, because it is a white, you know, plate at the bottom, um, you do get the green mark, and that's hard to get out. So if they could do something like Nike does, and either paint those a different color, um, or keep a black outsole or something um, to not, you know, these are clear, so you don't see the green as much, uh, so it doesn't ruin your cleats. Um, but the green just didn't look good, you know. After a while. Uh, that's really going to fade. That whole bottom plate is actually going to discolor, probably turn them more yellowish. Um, you know, these are my breast cancer awareness version, so I don't use them every game. I'm only going to use them a couple games every year. Um, you know, that's why I got them. 
Uh, another aspect is the creasing. A lot of you have complained about creasing in the toe, and I did experience that. You can see a little bit of the crease right there. Something that I'm going to do to prevent that is uh, use, you know, some of these plastic shoe trees. Uh, so these, you know, just go inside the shoe. You put it down here, and you actually bend this portion back. So when it's in the shoe, it's going to look like this. And that goes against here, and this goes in the toe. And so that's going to prevent it from, um, you know, seeing, seeing some of those creases over time. So I suggest, yeah, I paid a dollar for those from Ikea. So I suggest you get some of those. Uh, the other thing is, besides the bottom getting dirty, the side, um, because it's, you know, this material, it actually can get dirty. Um, I tried to clean them as soon as the game was over, and I think I still have a little dirt mark right there. Um, I can probably get it out with some soap and water and a toothbrush, um, so I will be doing that. Um, but you can see that they can get dirty fast. Luckily, I play on turf most of the time. Um, in terms of price, these were about $130. Uh, that doesn't include tax or shipping. Um, and that's about on par with what the carbons were. They were about 120 when they came out. Um, you know, the talents are a little bit more, 140 um, You know, so it, they are a little bit cheaper than the carbons. I think they're definitely a good option for you, but I don't know if I put them over, um, over some of the other cleats. Um, you know, obviously the main advantage to these is going to be the super high. So they say that you don't have to use tape and you don't have to spat up. Um, I would definitely say you don't have to spat. I don't believe that spatting actually, you know, gives you any more ankle protection. I don't think that's a good method. Um, I So I taped up under these anyway. And even with the tape and putting these on, I felt like I felt a lot more secure uh, with my shoe. So I did feel like, um, you know, a little bit stronger. Um, and I didn't lose any flexibility, so they did feel really nice. But I would not suggest wearing these um, instead of tape if uh, you always tape up. If you spat up, I definitely suggest doing these instead of the spatting because I don't think the spatting prevents much ankle injury anyway. I really think it's something more about looks. Um, I wish they would have more options out, but in terms of breast cancer awareness, I think this is a good option because you're not using them all the time. Um, so other than that, I've been really uh, happy with the cleats. Um, if you do want to see how they look when I wear them, uh, go to my Facebook page. The link is in the description. Um, you can see pictures of my game um, where I'm wearing all white with these. I do think it looked pretty good. The whole other team was asking me about them um, in the game. So check out the Facebook page. And if you have more questions, hit up the comments or the Facebook page or the Twitter account. Remember to like, share with your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.